Hello everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome to my YouTube channel, my studio, and to my weekly live stream. So glad to be here with you today. I just saw Kay's comment about my disclaimer. Today I do have makeup on and I do have my hair styled, but there's no guarantee. There's no guarantee. You don't know what's going to happen on a Wednesday. And sometimes, well, there you go. But if you are new here or you're catching a live stream because somehow this showed up in your feed, this is not a typical video that I do here on my channel, but I do go live every week. It's a little chattier. We have a great community. People come, we chat in the comments. I try to pay attention. It's all good. So welcome. I'm happy to have you all here. Great to see names. Of course, I see Gina. I see Jody, Lynn, Glenda. I mean, we got people in Iowa. Okay, Iowa. Favorite, favorite line from a movie of all time when the, in Field of Dreams, when he says, is this heaven? And he says, it's Iowa. Great line. It's good to have you here. And yes, today, um, well, hopefully, you know, you know what's funny is the sun is going to start to set. True story. Over my shoulder, do you see that thing that looks like a white bar? Okay, it's not a white bar. I actually finally got blinds for my studio. I haven't had, well, I've been in this office for years. I've, I haven't had blinds since the early 90s when we first moved in. And hey, I see people coming in. Hey, Bria, thank you so much. And Simon Hurley, hey, coming, coming, coming here. We were there. We were hanging out earlier. Anyway, I digress. I, I finally got blinds, but hubby doesn't have the bandwidth to put them in until the weekend. And I wasn't going to do it, but they're behind me right, right there blinds, beautiful white blinds. I guess, thank you. Okay. So I, yeah, I, I washed my hair, you know, I put big loopy curls in, but I think I am going to be getting a haircut uh, pretty soon because this is a little much. So today I have been, how many of you, raise your hand, have been watching Christina Werner's holiday card series, which she has been doing for like ever. Such a good series. So many great ideas, right? I watched her do one of many videos that she's done, which is her faux dip dye. And I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. I'm going to bust out some things that I have not used for a really long time. And part of what happened is as I'm moving into this new room, and uh, um, <laughs> I'm coming across things, right? That were down in the craft slash dining room that weren't getting any love at all, at all. And so we're going to get it, some love today. So let's take a peek down here at the table. And we're going to talk about what we have happening today, okay? Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, and I will say this. Everything you're about to see, I only have because of Christina Werner. She didn't force me. But, you know, when I started making cards in 2017, I bought a lot of things that first year. Like, a lot of things. And what's hilarious is that there's a lot of things like the watercolors I'm going to use today that I barely even touched. You know what I mean? In fact, they're all cracked, like all the cakes are cracked because they haven't been used in so long. Uh, but welcome to everyone joining. I see Brianne out there and my Lancashire lass, uh, Gloria. Hello, welcome. Uh, yeah, it's great, it's great. Oh, you have me on mute. I know, and I don't think there's closed captioning for live, but yeah, there you go. So I wanna open this up, first of all. <laughs> so I have this, uh, Artistico paper, and this is the cold press, right? And this just shows you, I've had this pad, oh, at least two years, maybe three. Doesn't get a lot of use. Um, but this I use because Christina used it. All right, we're gonna set you aside. Um, there you go. I do not have narrow painter's tape, so I just pulled this out of my closet. And this is actually a roll that I use Every year in my little second bedroom where I quietly sleep with my air conditioner unit in this old house where central air is horrible, this is what I use to keep uh, mosquitoes out by sealing off the window unit because <laughs> it doesn't tear the paint. But today it's going to be perfect for holding my piece in place. Okay, now let's take a look at my colors. Here's what I did yesterday and I'm going to flip them around because they are beautiful, but honestly... <laughs> I have no idea really what they looked like until I decided to swatch them yesterday. 
I did do some swatches when I first got them. I did them in the little coin pockets that uh, Jennifer McGuire so inspirationally does for her swatches. But somehow that packet, <laughs> that it's gone. I cannot find those swatches. So I painted them in here and I'm like, okay, that, that's what my colors look like. And if you if you look here, you can see all the cracks because they just they just haven't gotten a lot of love. But today we are going to do the faux dip dye that Christina did, and I'm going to do it, and we're going to get started. And then if it works the way I'm hoping, uh, we're going to make ornaments. Well, not ornaments, but tags. Ornament tags. Okay, there, you're with me. Okay. So anyway, welcome everyone. I see Antoinette. I see Mickey, Terry, great to have you all here. And again, I'm going to, you know, pop up every now and then and try. I'm going to try to pay attention to the comments. Sometimes it's a little tricky for me, but because, you know, I'm a good multitasker, but I'm not always that good. So I'm going to start here and I want to figure out, let's see, I got I got all this room now, right? So I want to turn my board this way, okay? And, but do I want my paints on this? Yeah, I think I do. Okay. And put our water here and we're going to see if my head's in the way of the reds that's totally fine because I want to do something in the blues yes I'm sure a lot of us Bianca have these because of Christina and I don't I mean seriously like I do so little with them and it's that time of year again that we're gonna well we're gonna bust them out and see what happens okay we're gonna do faux dip dye oh I gotta get my little friend out here. Hold on. Oh, come here, you. I gotta get. It's under the table here. Come here. There we go. All right. I've got my little Ranger heated tool that has the lower heat for drying. So we're going to start and we're going to just do, oh, we're just going to do one big swatch of color. And okay, let me do this correctly. Oh, else have a really gross rag. So don't <laughs> trust me. It looks... <laughs> It is not pretty, but you know what? That's what we're doing. All right. And again, welcome to everyone who's joining today. I'm trying a Christina Warner thing, a faux dip dye. And here's what we're going to do. Oh, you know what I wanted to do though? I brought up my little pipette, pipette, because I thought this is an easier way to dip in a little water into some of these colors um, just to get them started a little bit. And I'm because I'm going sort of in these blue tones, I thought that would be a nice way to start it out. So is it pipette or pipette? I don't know. Okay. Thank you, Sherry. I believe. I believe that we will win. I believe that we will. Okay. We're going to start out with number 61. Now, number 61, and I'm not wetting my paper down first. I'm okay with this because um, this is a very pale color. And all we're going to do, it's pipette. Okay. We're just laying it down like this. Look at me going back and forth. Now this brush is one of the Zen Royal and Lang nickels, and I love it. Let's oh clean water mm. because these are really affordable brushes. So you know you don't if you're like me and you're not going to be the world's best painter, you're just going to kind of have some crafty fun. You don't need super high end brushes. Um. I actually bought some when I first started crafting. And uh, <laughs> what's so funny about it is that they're so beyond my pay grade. Do you know what I mean? I bought some, uh, gosh, what is the brand? It's uh, it's the ones, I, um, Versatile. You know what I'm talking about. They're very expensive. Let me get, let me, let's start drawing though. The, the um, oh, I can't think of what they're called. The, the brush is Versatile and it's a travel brush set. And I think I spent $175 on it. And what do I do with it? Almost nothing. Okay, let's dry this layer. And I wanted to have my Ranger heat it tool because this is a bit more gentle of a heat, right? I didn't want to use my big Wagner tool. So we're just, we're just laying it down. And drying it a little. Escoda. Thank you, Ramo or Ramo. It is Escoda. Thank you so much. Yes. I don't need Escoda brushes. Yeah. All right. 
I mean, I have them. And you know what? I stopped using them because I thought if for someone like me to tell someone to buy a set of brushes for like $175, yeah, hard pass. Okay, I am going to move on. Now, here's the thing. I, I feel like what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip over to this little friend, number 63, because of the tone. The tone is a little bit... Uh, a little bit in between these two and we're just going to lay down our next color and I'm adding quite a bit of water this might be too much water I don't know we'll see we shall see and we're just going to bring that here and just go down like that look at me fancy now I can't see I have to pay a little more a little more attention to what I'm doing, but I think this is going to be just golden. All right. Oh, this board that I'm using is actually a cutting board from my kitchen. This is um, an Epicurious cutting, an Epicurean, is that it? A uh, cutting board from my kitchen. Um, I know a lot of people use hard boards. You can buy one at Simon Says Stamp. In fact, uh, Emma, if you remind me, I will... Uh, I will add a hardboard link to my supplies. But yeah, Emma's right. This is a kitchen board and it's all I've ever used because it's all I have. So, hey Vicki, glad to see you here. All right, we're drying this next layer. Now, I do think it's interesting when you're you know, heating this paper, you see it kind of start to puff up. I don't think you, you see it as much on camera, but I definitely do. And I always wonder like, am, am I doing this right? I think I'm doing this right. It's peaceful, right? I should go slower. Soothing sounds of the Ranger Heat It tool. I did order myself, um, I have a Simon order coming, and I decided to get a different heat tool. I'm getting the Wow heat tool. Um, the, I've seen Christina use it because it has the two heat settings in one, and that's kind of what I'm looking for right now. But let's move on to, I'm going to move into, well, do I want to go, I think I am going to do number 64. Okay. And again, I'm going to rinse this brush out really well. <laughs> this is ASMR. That's the highest praise you could give me. I am a huge fan. I don't know if you know that about me, but... Okay, I think I got way too much water in here, so we're gonna dab some off. I am a huge ASMR, ASMR fan, and uh, I didn't even know it was a thing on the internet until Christina Werner herself told me, and it changed my life forever. Because she said, <laughs> she's like, you haven't seen the crinkly shirt video? I'm like, the crinkly shirt video? Because we were talking about the experience of ASMR and I have experienced that feeling um, since I was a little kid. It goes back to when people would trace on your back. Remember you'd sit in story time and someone would like scratch your back for you. It's very similar to that. And uh, well, that's just me. Uh, K, it stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. And again, imagine someone lightly dragging their hands across your back and that tingly sensation, that's ASMR. I mean, that's, that's the sensation. So, all right. <laughs> Escoda, yes. In fact, I don't, I don't know where those, I don't know where they are. Oh, that's weird. I have $175 brushes somewhere in this house. I have no idea where they are. That's weird. I wonder where they are. Irregardless, I'm not going to use them, so. I mean, I should. I should give them to someone who's a good painter. That might be, you know, that might be what we do. Also, welcome. And yes, that is what ASMR stands for, and it is a sensation. Uh, and you get that sensation from auditory cues and visual cues, not just from having someone scratch your back. Although, who doesn't, who doesn't like a soft scratch on the back? Jill, we are in hairbrushing. Kathy, there are videos that you can watch, right, of people uh, <laughs> brushing other people's hair, and it puts people to sleep. All right. This is looking good. Okay. 
Now I am going to come into this more sort of aqua tone. Hello, Susan. Welcome. Faux dip dye. That's what we're doing today. Inspired by the one and only Christina Werner, who is, uh, well, you know, she, she kind of amazes me with all the ideas she comes up with. Um, her and Jennifer are quite the pair. Jennifer McGuire, that is, um, because they just constantly have ideas. So we're just going to lay this down to get that little tonal change and just go across. Isn't that pretty? We're working it. We are working it. Did I go over something that I shouldn't have? I think I might have. No, I think we're good. All right, dry. Uh, cuttlefish crafting. This is what I, I do it every night to chill out and to fall asleep every night. I have some favorites, of course. Uh, huge fan of Maria Gentle Whispering. She's like the queen. And I also love uh, Emma Whispers Red. Those are my favorite. They just, it, and it does, it knocks me out. There's another ASMR artist that I love, and he goes by the name Silverhair, and I love him. I just, oh, I think he's really, just seems like the neatest, the neatest young man. Ah, hello, Barbara. Glad you made it. How many of you were watching Gina K last night? I was watching. I didn't comment a lot because sometimes I just totally lay back and just chill and watch Gina. But the the color uh, the, of that background, like it me, I I want to do that. Um, Sherry, totally yes. It, you know who else is kind of the king of ASMR? Bob Ross. The reason people loved Bob Ross so much is he just was so relaxing. Okay, we're going in with number sixty six. He was so relaxing to watch, and um, yeah, that was just Bob Ross, king of ASMR. Unintentional, right? Now, I think I have too much on here again. What? No, no, no. Okay, we're going to do it. Coming down like this. Oh, look at that color. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, back to drawing. Okay. Oh, Gina was going to do a live. That's right. Uh, yeah, Amy, Bob Ross, if you if you just want to relax, just put Bob on, watch him paint. Oh, gosh, he was something. He was something special. Um, Barbara, so painting, is it new for me? Well, I mean, I've been making cards for five years, and I've been doing some crafty things for five years. Now, funny story, as a scrapbooker, I really never did anything like this at all. Like, this was just so out of my wheelhouse. Um, and painting, I have a lot of painting on my channel, but they're not necessarily, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say about my painting. Okay, Bella Crafts. Yeah, I wonder if that's available on replay. I bet it is. All right, but this is just, I just wanted to try the faux dip dye because I've seen Christina do it. I've never done it. And I thought this would be a relaxing thing to do on a live stream. All right, look at that. Flattens right out and you know that you're getting all that moisture out. Actually, this is staying nice to the paper. I'm kind of impressed with myself. All right, now I think I want to bring in I think I want to bring in what this this purple tone right here, number 38. Uh, and I'm going to pipette it up. Yeah, Bob Ross just had, is that, wait, no, number 38. There we go. See, this is, this is why it was so good of me to swatch these. I had no idea what color that was. I'm like, is it black? Is this black? Is this black? No purple and it's a gorgeous color. So I know my water is getting a little questionable here. I wanted to do this all without having to switch my water, even though I do have, oh, look at how cool that looks over the top. Oh, that's purple going over blue. Ooh. Hey, Bobby. Okay. So here's the thing too. When I started making cards, I would watch Gina K every night, every night, multiple videos. I would go back like years to the beginning of Stamp TV and Gina would put me to sleep in the best way, not because she was boring, because I just loved 
the cadence of how she speaks and how she teaches. And I think she's always, she's kind of always done that the same way. I, I, yeah. So Bobby, I feel that. I feel that. Look at this. This is very pretty. Now I may or may not add one more layer. I haven't decided. I think what time is it? Oh, keep an eye on. Um, Heather, I am, I am using the Artistico Fabriano cold press paper. And the only reason I'm doing that is because if it's good enough for Christina Warner, well, it's good enough for me. All right. So we're drying. We're drying. Okay. And uh, yeah, again, I did not add the link, but I will link Christina's video from this year's holiday series where she did her most recent faux dip dye because it's just beautiful. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. Now I don't think I don't think I need another layer on this, right? I think this is really nice. And this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. So really, you know, I can see why Christina does this a lot because it's very cool. It's a really neat way to, well, you know, just kind of create something that looks cool, right? Look at that. And that's that's the plan today. So I am going to move my colors out of the way here. All right. Uh, thank you, TJ. I, I do try to have a soothing voice if I can. You know, funny thing is, you remember being a kid and back in the olden days, you would hear yourself on, on a tape recording and you'd be like, I don't sound like that. That's not me. Let me tell you, when you work on YouTube, you get over that really fast. It's like, I really do sound like this. So, so this is my piece. Um, and I'm going to zoom in a little here like this. Now, could I add more layers if I wanted to? I could, I could, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to because I have something for the magic of television, okay? Had to do it because if I'm going to do what I wanted to do, I did a version last night. No, it is not the go dog go. I'm gonna move this out of the way. But what it is, is I did another piece last night. I don't know if, I think this looks better than what I did last night. However, I did this and I flattened it. And this is basically what I did last night. So isn't that kind of cool? I wanted this to be completely dry because we're gonna stamp and emboss on this. And you know, if I were doing a video that wasn't live, I would be able to, you know, walk away and go eat Oreos and then come back. But there's no Oreos today. Well, I mean, there are Oreos, but well, you know what I mean. So let's, uh, well, you know what, let's get this. And I'm gonna let this keep drying before I peel it off. But this is the piece that I did last night. So it does look a little different. I actually had a big stain in there. Like, I'm not really sure what I was doing, but you know, there you go. So what I'm gonna do is grab my Misty tool, okay? Yes, yes indeed. Oh, come here. Okay. So, so here's my thinking today, and this may or may not work. And you know what? We've gotten to that point where the hair is driving me crazy. Yeah. I'm channeling Violet Baudelaire. All good things happen when it's up on top of my head. Okay, bingo. So what I wanna do is create some ornaments. Now, that was a lot of prep for just this little ornament thing, but the holidays are here. And I think what would be fun is to make a couple little ornaments. And what I have here too is I have these dies. Now in this set, oh, look at that, it magnet, magnetized right down. In this set, there are, there's a snowflake, there's a poinsettia, poinsettia and bead, or beads, and they're beads. They are the little whatever they're called, the, they're not seeds, they're the centers. Wow, these are really magnetized. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's whole. <laughs> that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Okay, we're not gonna do that anymore. Get, 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 move you aside. Wasn't that cool? That was like magic. But I want, I almost lost that. I wanna make backgrounds with this, this piece. So I'm going to do at least two, I think. So let's get you open here. 
animated dies. I could have, I could have done a short, uh, like a, a, a reel. What are they called? The reels? People love the reels. Now, I might need an extra magnet though, but you know what? I don't, yes, I do have one. Okay, I used to have one and now I do have one. Do I have another one? You know what? Let me grab another Misty because I feel that what I need to do is have a little more magnet to hold that down. Okay, maybe like that, like that. Okay, hopefully that's enough. So I want to bring this up a little. In fact, maybe I'll zoom out just a tiny bit. Here we go. I want to get some stamps set up. So I'm going to stamp and emboss, and I think I'm just gonna do it in white, but I don't know. I don't know for sure. And I want one of them to say a gift for you. Okay. We're just gonna, well, you know what? Maybe I do need to go here, a gift for you. I wanna get a little bit of all of that in. Uh, and maybe one that just does the joyful, joyful. By the way, this stamp set is called Ornament Options, and I really haven't done as much as I wanted to do with it because I wanted to make some holiday gift tags, and now is the time. Now is the time. Hello, SoCal. Oh, this has to come down. Wait, now you're talking. Okay. Okay, we weren't thinking. Let's get this out of the way first. You gotta, you gotta think, and I wasn't thinking. There we go. Okay. I want to make sure I have enough room there and there. Do I have enough room there? I think that I do, and I might bring it over a tiny bit like that. Okay. See that? We're, we're planning. We're planning. Uh, hello, David Rod Rudenberg. I'm seeing people I've never seen before. This is fantastic. And yeah, patty pie, it's always better late than never. So I'm going to pick this up. And I'm trying not to mess everything up right now. So let's go, which way do I like to go? I like to go this way, I think. Yeah, okay. I'm going to pick these up like that. Now, I do want to try to magnet this down and look at me putting my fingers all over, right? We gotta, we gotta be mindful of that. How's that? Do I have clearance, clearance? I do. Okay, now we need anti-static powder, and we need, you know what, I'm going to move some, I, I keep thinking I'm going to spill water all over the place. Wish me luck that I don't, but I need my little paper catch, and I'm going to move my water off the table here because I feel like I'm going to spill it. There you go. There you go. Okay. I'm still adjusting to the space, and I'm never quite sure where things going to fit, but it does fit. All right, time to stamp, okay? Also, if you're if you're joining, welcome. Oh yes, it's called Ornament Options. And everything that I'm using will be linked below in, or in the description. Sometimes it's below, but if you're watching on a device, it's usually pops up over on the side, but everything is linked for your shopping pleasure. Thank you. Um, what was I gonna say? Something and now it's gone. All right, I'm I'm catching the uh, you know the comments and then I yeah. Uh, Simon Hurley, thank you. It is it is a good space. I I'm loving it in here so much. So I will be doing a video about this because I still have people who are like, wait a minute, what what are you, where are you now? And I I realize I do need to explain it. Um, but here let us let us ink this up. I'm stamping with the Versamark. Okay. So we're gonna ink up our stamps with the Versamark. Oh, I hope I'm pressed down there all the way. I think I am. You know, even if we just get one good one out of here, we're gonna be golden. So let me grab my little stamp press tool. Nothing's gonna move and we're gonna press. No more rickety table. Oh, you have no idea. I know, I know it was charming down there. I get it, but I was down there for 20 years, <laughs> 20 years of toil. I mean, it, you know, that's where I worked for years, even, even in my illustrious scrapbooking career. So, all right, how are we doing? I feel like I don't wanna roll the 
dice and do it again. How does that look? I can't even see. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna roll the dice, okay? And I know some folks are like, but that table was, you know, so beautiful. And, you know, it's an heirloom. And it's like, do you want it? Because I'll, I'll give it to you. I don't care. Nope, I don't care at all. Okay, let me grab. And I say that with love, but it really, it really wasn't great for working. Um, especially because it moved all the time. And it was just like, no. No, no, no. Okay, now here's where I need to think. I I don't think I want to do, mm, you know what? If I do gold powder, then I could do a gold ornament. Or if I did a silver powder, then I could do a silver ornament. Hmm. Let me grab some silver. I love silvers and blues. Um, oh, yes, uh, Emma's my moderator. She gets a wrench. Thank you, Emma. I'm gonna I'm gonna add the Simon Ultra Fine Silver, and I don't think I have this li linked in the supply list. Um, Emma's Emma's my 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 brain. She she keeps things moving, and reminds me after the live to update my lists and keeps me on track. And she bounces trolls, and you know she's just she's an all around bad A. How's that? Okay, I think this is gonna be great. I think I had the right amount of powder, and also look at that. The, uh, all the powder fell away because of the anti-static. You see that, right? That's the miracle of anti-static powder. All those years ago, uh, when I would ever try embossing with powder and Versamark, it always looked terrible. In fact, it looked a lot like that, like I'd have powder everywhere. Little hot tip, I always use my Swiffer here on my little paper catch, just so that, you know, it picks up all the mucky muck and then I don't contaminate other powders. So, these are great. I just, uh, I just ordered some more, which means I put them on a grocery list and I have to go to the store and get them. Okay. Yeah, we don't want trolls. Oh, hey, Mindy. Mindy Egan, good to see you. Um, I am working on this new glass mat, and I will tell you, I do have a discount code if you're interested. I love this so far. Also, I ordered a white one too. I want to see which one I like better, and well, the white one should be here in a few days, and I'm just going to test them out, but this has been so cool. One other thing, I learned about this from Carissa Wiley. Carissa has a link and I used her link to buy these little bottles on Amazon and they're just so pretty. And then you just clean up with the alcohol. So cool, so cool. All right, let's melt the powder. Thank you, Mindy. It does look good today, I'm not sure why. Hmm. TJ. It is a bit slippery, to be honest with you, but I do have some workarounds so far. All right, let's melt the powder. It should come alive here. Oh, there it goes, it pops. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Mm. Looky, looky. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that fun? Okay, this mat works with these magnets, right? Like that. But they're not like the strongest magnets in the world. Um, and again, I'm learning about this mat. But I will say, um, I'm doing things like, for example, if I'm ink blending, this mat works really great with uh, the ink stand, right? You can put your pad on here and it's the little rubber feet are holding it in place. I'm, I'm figuring out how to work with this. I, I also use a stencil mat a lot that I like to uh, blend on. So this has been, it's a learning experience, but I, I love it so far. I just, I also was tired of how bold the mat was with the pattern. 
and this is a little bit more neutral on my eye. So it helps, it actually helps me to see better. So here's what we're gonna do. Oh, and these are separate. You can buy them in a pack of three or eight, I think. So I need to do some die cutting. Let's put you on the floor and, yep, time to die cut. So here's my little pad set up. Oh, how large is the mat? My mat is 22 by 18. You want to see a wide shot? Check it out. 20, 24, 22 by 18. What? Where are we going? Hey, there's my table. <laughs> there's my legs. Hi. Isn't that crazy? All right, we're coming in. There you go. There you go. Anyway, it's a big mat. And now you're seeing my slow zoom. It's like a slow jam. I wish I had a song to sing, but I don't. Okay, maybe a little bit more here. So I've got my Gemini plates and I am, <laughs> we're flying. I'm gonna cut the first one and we're gonna cut it with the backer, right? Cause this is gonna be the backer, but what I wanna do, and this is where my head might get in the way a little bit. Yeah, I like the new camera too, Christy. It's a video camera, like a camcorder. And you know, a lot of the cool kids use them, but I love that I don't have to film with my phone. So oh, this is what my screen looks like. I like my hands, what can I say? Um, there's no holiday theme, it's just my manicure. Okay, now I wanna try to get this as centered as possible. So I'm gonna look in here. Sometimes it's a little hard for me to see. What about that, how's that? Cause we do have to frame this out. So let's go tape, tape. And I think we're in the right place. Let's clamp it down quickly. Yeah, that, that's gonna be good. All right, it's been a while. Say hello, if you will, to the die cut cam. See the lighting looks a little different over here because it's not all zoomed in, but there's my, there's my, there's my Gemini. And of course, the rotating design board, which I, I don't think is in, I think they're sold out right now. Um, I, I always send people to Simon to get them and it is a wonderful tool. Someone asked me, I, I have a couple different machines. Let's see how this looks. Oh, that looks really good. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Okay. Someone asked me, why do you use two different machines and do you have a preference? And the answer is, I, do, I, I have spellbinders, right? I have a couple spellbinders machines. I have a blue one and a white one, and I love those machines, but I have wrist issues. Um, and unfortunately, when you have wrist issues, you try to avoid <laughs> doing things. Um, that don't hurt your wrist. Cranking, that, that's the universal symbol for cranking a die cut machine. So that's that's the thing. I, I, I prefer to use the Gemini when I can, and I use the spell binders when I, when I need to, and yeah, I think they're wonder, wonderful pieces of equipment, all of them. So yes, electronic die cut machines are great. Um, my friend Jennifer McGuire, name drop, <laughs> Um, she told me, she's like, you should get, you should get the Empress, the Anna Griffin machine. How many of you have the Empress? Because she, she said it's a great machine. And um, it's funny because I'm going to cut this out too. I remember Anna Griffin from my scrapbooking days. Anna Griffin would be at the trade shows that I was at. Also, I always flip this sandwich every time I run it through just helps keep the plates uh, nice. Now check it out. I mean, look at how straight the plates are. This is why I am obsessed with this sandwich that I learned about from Jennifer. Um, because if you use these green plates with clear plates, and then you always cut into one, I, I just, and look at that, those look great. Um, the straightness of the plates, is speaking for itself. I mean, look at that. It's it's amazing. And then all I do is once this is super cut into, I flip it, then super cut into that side, and then 
you always keep one side as clean as possible and you don't cut in here. But yeah, I've heard about the Empress. It looks like a lot of you have that. Yeah, Shelly, remember remember Anna Griffin? She's seriously like the nicest person. Um, and I should save that because you never know. You never know. All right, so let me grab some specialty cardstock. Now, I may have to be over here for a second, but you might not be able to hear me. I'm looking for... Uh, Oh, I should have had this pulled and ready to go. Let's see here. Okay. Yes, I remember Anna Griffin being literally the nicest person. So I bet she still is. <laughs> no, she turned into a horrible person. No, I bet she is. She was the nicest person then. And uh, I should I should check her out. Oh yeah, I could clean I could clean my plates. I've definitely done the dishwasher thing. But now I do I need that? I don't need. I'm going to get some silver paper out. Now this, I also don't, I don't think I have linked. Um, Emma, note to, note to myself. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna do that. Oh, Bethadilly, don't you love Bethany? I love Bethany. I, uh, oh, let's put you out of the way. I literally was talking to Bethany today. She is the nicest person also, and I'm so glad I met her because, well, she's a delight. So what we're going to do now, and let me, you know, I guess I could run this through. I'm going to cut two silver layers here, okay? And let's try to, let's try to maximize if we can so as not to waste this beautiful, nope, there we go, this beautiful cardstock. This is really nice paper. Um, it cuts beautifully. Oh, I think it just something just went wonky in there. Let's see. I hope it worked. Oh, good. I think we're good. It cuts beautifully. Oh, Simon Hurley is still there. There you go. And that's how the pros get the dice out of the die. Oh, I love doing that. I love it. All right. There's one layer and let's do another. And this too goes right back into my pocket. Well, not my pocket, I'll show you actually. Um, I think we're gonna, you know what? I think I gotta put a little tape on this just so I can get it close. Oh, like that. <laughs> I do have a Tom. Well, I guess Emma is like my Tom. Although, did I tell you that, um, my son did say he would um, write some uh, original music for my opening. I thought that was very sweet. And and he would play it. Not live, but pre-recorded. All right. And coming back. Now, I'm going to also grab, so these little friends, check it out. I'm gonna put these in my little scrap bin. My, well, okay, some of you might say, Kathy, this is too fancy for a scrap bin. And I get it, it is, this is fancy. But here's what I do. I go back to specialty scraps and I can just pop them in. And that way, if I ever need a small silver, actually, oh, I should have come in here and checked that. That's where I can get it. I have these little inserts as a download if you want them. I think they're on my blog and Emma, Remind me to mention the link to the blog if you want to. This is just one of these little uh, Variera boxes from Ikea. And the only reason I have this little magnifying loop in the back is to keep it all from falling over. So that's where I keep my scraps. Yes, okay. All right, you go in there and close. And let's do the highly trained professional method of well, one, there you go. Yeah. Many a fabulous die have been lost that way, but sometimes, well, you know, I'm, I'd like to think that in this space, I am less likely to, uh, to lose things. Okay, let me grab some white cardstock as well. Okay. Now, what I wish I would have done, and I wasn't thinking, I wish I would have just... Uh, put this, uh, die cut these out with one of the, uh, 
oh, what is it called? That that new stuff from Ulta New that I'm obsessed with, the double-sided adhesive. But we'll use spray glue. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And what we're going to do is we're just going to get one more layer here out of white. Okay. All right. How's everyone doing out there today? Are you having a good Wednesday? Oh, Bobby, do I like these? I love them. I love the I love that it's the Simon color. Um, I love reverse tweezers. I love the feel of the pad on this. It's very comfortable. Short answer. Yes, I love it. And I wasn't paid to say that, but I do love, I really do love them. And I, I have had them for a little while and I had to wait to use them um, until they came out. And I kept thinking, don't grab the green ones. Don't grab the green ones. All right. Yeah, they're really nice. And I think it's a really great price point too. So you could do this with as much dimension as you like. Um, oh, look, that just popped off. Oh, this die cut so beautifully. I'm just going to do, oh, look, and your magnet. Where are my tweezers? Oh, they're stuck to the magnet. So you always have that going for you. See that right there? Um, yes, you could build up more dimension on this if you wanted to. But I'm just going to do two. Because here's the thing. These are going to be on packages. That's the goal. I haven't, I haven't done any Christmas wrapping yet. Um, one of the things that's kind of nice, and this might just be our family. Oh, I could do the sticky dot cheats. In fact, TJ, I might do that actually. Good. Thank you for reminding me that. Um, one of the nice things is when your children are adults, uh, it's, it's, Christmas is a little more chill right now for us, and I really love it. Like, they don't need anything. <laughs> I don't need anything. I I have everything I need right here in this room. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, let's see. One more time. Highly trained professional. There you go. Look at that. Oh, love it. Um, but it's just, it's, it's just a relaxing time. Um, there's no expectations. Nobody is expected. You have to do this and you have to do that. And we just enjoy the time that we all have together. And I tell you what, that's what makes a holiday joyous to me. Let me grab some of that dot adhesive because I do have some. I just used it. And uh, Emma, I'll have to link this as well, but this is the Simon Says Stamp Micro Dot Sheets, and this will be perfect for this. It'll be perfect to put the shiny layer here. I may do liquid glue on this layer, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Oh, I just got an 8.7 from Gina. Thank you. <laughs> Woo, okay. Oh, let's have a LaCroix break. Hold on here. Mm. I started realizing that I've been talking a little too much. Okay, I am going to take a sheet out. Now, I'm gonna just take a fresh sheet because here's the thing with these sheets, and I've started doing this um, because I get forgetful about what I've used and what I haven't used, and I want it to be the strongest. So, we are going to put adhesive on the backs of the little silver friends. So what you do here is just little dot adhesive. It's, it's like a, think of it as like a big Xyron sticker, right? One side is sticky and one side is release paper. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this here. Although this doesn't take up much adhesive, so I don't think I'm going to, I'm not going to cut anything away. I have a video coming where I, uh, I used a large piece of cardstock to glue with this, and in that regard, I cut the paper out because otherwise you're using too much of the dot, and it won't be as sticky the next time you lay something down. Okay, now here is the thing though. You might want to get two tweezers or, or have gross tweezers. I keep two. These are my gross tweezers. Not that they're gross. They're EK success. I've had them since I started making cards, but I use them for the stickier things. And that's what we're doing here. In fact, let me zoom in just a little cause I can. There we go. All right. I'm going to release this off here and we'll just do one at a time, right? Just peel it off just like a sticker. And then 
I'm gonna hold that like that. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna build up a little dimension. Oh, let's make sure we're the right side up. There we go. You know dies have die cuts have a right side and a wrong side, and I cannot tell you how many times I have adhered to the wrong side. Oh, and then I'm like, Kathy, Kathy, you know better than this. You're a highly trained professional. Okay. There. So again, you could make this a little bigger if you wanted, more dimension, more layers. I'm just not going to do that today because it's tag and it's going to get recycled, right? This isn't going to be uh, for all time. Although if you were putting this onto a card, right? And I do think, I, I don't know how many of you have this set, but it works great for making cards too, right? It doesn't have to be uh, for, for what I'm doing, but that was why I designed it. Cause I do, I like, I like tags. Um, also, when your tweezers get really gross, you can, let's see here, use a wonderful product called Undo. And I have some here. Hold on, I'll show you. I talk about this. Those of you who are scrapbookers, you know all about Undo because this is what you took pictures up off, right? And uh, it's great stuff for cleaning all the mucky muck off of your things. All right. Now these are, this is a little warpy, but again, I don't think it matters. And if you wanted to, you could create a backer as well, just by cutting another piece of paper out and gluing them together. Um, you could pick out like a white, you could put white on the back just to really make it look crisp. But again, it's a gift tag. So should we just use the sticky dots again? I think, I think I'm going to, I think this is actually pretty cool. So now, come here, open, yeah, all right, now we're going on the other side, so either way, we're going to be just fine, more, more dots, get on there, get, there we go, uh-huh, there we go, and here, and again, please tell me I put, yep, yeah, silver side down, I'm going to burnish just a little bit, okay, just to really get that transferred to the back, and now I can go ahead and add these on. It's not petrol in a spray bottle. It, um, I don't know what undo is. It's been around for a really long time. And you know, it's just, it's just good. Yeah, Cal, you could put anything on the back here, but here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try to line that, is my head in the way? Like that. And then, this is the only reason I would have done liquid here is so that I could kind of figure out my placement a little better, but actually, oh gosh, I can't, I can't see very well. Let's go upside down like that and come over here. Am I too high up? I get whispery. There we go. There we go. And then I'm just going to go like this. Press, press that down with my brick. You know, I should find something to stick on the back um, because, in fact, I think I will. I'll show you. It'll be kind of cool. We've got time. Hello, Fiona. It's tomorrow where you live. And it is still today where I live. Okay. I'm going to pop this one down too. Let's lean here. I think it's easier to do it from the upside down. And by upside down, I'm not referring, that's not a Stranger Things joke, although it would be funny. All right, how about that? Oh, it slipped. Let's see, are we good? Are we flat in there? Yes. Yes, okay, that's gonna be good too. Let me grab another piece of white cardstock. All right, let's, let's, just, let's just zooch this up. I mean, if we're going in, we're going all in, and so. I am going to take this friend, right? And let's just go like that and that. See, if you took these two before, I mean, after the embossing, you could put these in a book as well and kind of flatten them up. But let's, oh, there's my tape. See, that's why you keep it on your, your person at all times. I'm going to cut this out. But you know what? First, I need to... Slide this back in. No sense in being super messy. <laughs> okay, but I do throw things on the floor. Okay, plates. 
And just gonna cut two backers. And that way when it's time, you know, to write on the tag, right? It'll be super easy to do. So we'll go like this. Take you back around and we'll do one more now oh I cut the <laughs> okay how many of you caught that that's the wrong one but you know what well it'll be fine let's try this again let's just do oh I barely gonna make it oh my goodness gracious okay okay let's do this and I think I'll just finish one on camera, but you know what I meant to do, right? These dyes look so similar. Right. Now, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. And I think because this is perfectly symmetrical, you can have this, it, you can have the embossed or it's not embossed it's the side that looks like it's the right side yep so it has that nice little um beveled edge feel and again I shouldn't have put that other stuff away well we're gonna have to use liquid glue because I <laughs> it threw it too far across the room I do keep the language clean you know I'm very uh I'm very good at self-regulation and I think part of it is because for many, many years, when I worked in the scrapbook industry, <laughs> back in the olden days, and I'm just using liquid glue all over here. When I used to travel and teach, I learned pretty quickly <laughs> that probably swearing like a sailor and smoking cigarettes wasn't gonna make me more popular. So that was a long time ago. That was, <laughs> that was, <laughs> that was in the early 2000s. They were different times. They were different times. All right, and we're just gonna go like that. I think that's probably enough, right? Because now, and I actually think too, when I finish this, I'm gonna put it in a book because it, once you put it in the book, oh gosh, darn it, there we go. See, see that? See how good at swearing I am without actually swearing? I'm telling you, I'm the queen. <laughs> okay, now I need to get this lined up and I'm gonna flip it over and press all right you know I could cut one more let's just do it let's just do it I'm here I don't need to be anywhere all right one more and I will pop this through yes they were <laughs> you cannot oh Deborah oh Deborah have did any of you see the picture on my Instagram <laughs> from uh from the uh mid eighties that I shared the other day. I'm gonna cut this out. Uh, yeah. I, uh, that was a wild one. And uh, well, most of those days have, have long since gone. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a funny picture. It's a fantastic picture. I don't even know how I'm lucky enough to have it, but it's a picture of me and my friend Tristan walking downtown Seattle uh, on Pike Street or Pine or something like that. And I've got my little cigarette in my hand and we're all in black and we're all super goth. Um, <laughs> those were the days. Someone someone sent me a DM. You didn't say who that was. Was it Robert Smith? Seriously, dude looked just like Robert Smith. But we all did. We all did. It was 1983. Okay. So I am going to do the same here. And which side? Yeah, this side. Okay, there we go. Also, I want to thank you for coming to my lives because it's really nice. I really appreciate you. I'll probably still do them if no one was here because, you know, my family's used to seeing me talk to myself. They know. You know, if I hit 75,000, as a subscriber, I am going to do a 75,000 subscriber special. There are going to be lots of giveaways and Dan's going to be on camera making a card with me. Well, he might just be on camera, like he might be here and I'll just be coaching him. 
<laughs> You'll love him. He's very entertaining. Okay. All right. And then we're going to go on here, pick it up, and then just wiggle it into place. That's why I like the liquid glue, because it does give me that little extra, a little extra something, something. That looks good. I think my actual ornament's a little off, but press. Okay. Now here's the thing. I, you know, I could put something in the middle. I mean, I could do, I could do a little silver snowflake. Oh my gosh. You know what? Let me do that. Specialty scraps. This is what, this is what you were born for. Okay. Do you know how sometimes like this is what they were waiting for? I'm going to do it. I am going to pick this up. And oh, don't stick to my, there we go. And I'm going to add a snowflake. I think this will be fun. And that was kind of my thinking when I added the snowflakes, because I'm like, well, you could, <laughs> you could put a snowflake in there. So let's do that. I forgot which way it turned. Um, <laughs> Lori, I just saw your comment about there are days when I might only utter a uh, hundred words. It's funny because, okay, let's see. Oh, little pieces came. There we go. I almost sent that flying. Uh, I, I am, well, I'm not home alone completely right now because my son is home from college. Oh, that'll be nice, right? That's beautiful. But I talk a lot to myself. That's just the thing. I do. And when my husband is home during the summer, he also talks to himself and <laughs> there's like this dialogue, but we aren't talking to each other. We're just talking to ourselves. And it's super annoying for both of us. But you know, I think it's because, there you go. Look at that. Love that. Just be careful. I'm a highly trained professional. Um, you know, I just think that, uh, when you, when you've been self-employed as long as I have, if you don't talk to yourself, something might be, something might be wrong. Okay. Now there's a poinsettia thing in there too, but I don't, I don't want to do that. What I want to do is just put this in. And now I do want my dot, my little dot. So let me get it. Hold on. I'm bringing it back. I shouldn't have thrown it on the floor. Oh. I always keep this little friend in here for now because so many of my little sheets look the same. And here's the thing. I know this is a little late in the season to, you know, share a holiday tag because with shipping and whatnot, I, I'm probably going to be migrating away from some holiday projects. But I really, this is the time of year when I really want to do the holiday projects. You know what I mean? Like, and so it's like, I know that ideally, like you would do these in September and then people would have time to order them. <laughs> but I love doing holiday projects in December. It just feels good. And I will be using these for, um, you know, for my cards. Where's my gross tweezers? Okay. Hot mess. Hot mess. So you could put this on a card too, right? It would be super cute. Well, I don't even think, I don't even think I need these tweezers, but so then... We're just gonna put a snowflake on it like that. Good. Oh, that's super cute. Super. And take this friend off and put it down. Chucking. And we're gonna get you right there. Wait, come on now, come on. I guess it doesn't have to be perfectly straight, but like that. Isn't that cute? Okay, I have, I do have, let's come in here a little, look at that. Love my new camera because I can get in close. Aren't those cute? So now you can easily write on the back. They feel very sturdy. Now, let me grab some twine. I gotta, I don't have a lot. I gotta find it. Oh, oh. Okay. Yep. 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 Okay. Is this the one? Yes. Okay. I don't have a lot of twine. Um, I don't 
I don't, I'm, I got, I've got to, like, I wish I had that sort of silver cording, but I don't. Um, so why do I just keep pulling this off? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, but here's, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take some and I'll just, I'll just double it up, right? Like that. And to get it a little thicker and then do I want to do it? Yeah. I, sorry. This is, I probably shouldn't be zoomed in this much, but I really want you to enjoy the threading. So I've got it doubled up like that. And I, I'll go in through the front. Oh, come on now, get closer. Get a little closer, Kathy. This is where, that's what separates the women from, this is what says, separates the animals from humans. There we go. Can I do this with my opposable thumbs? And the answer is, oh, that didn't quite go. There we go, like that. So then I have just a little, a little shringy dingy on there, right? Kind of pretty. And I'll, I'll just like, well, but see, the thing is, if I was going to write on the back, I would have to tie that onto a package. So this might not be the greatest twine because all this is, is just DMC, like embroidery thread or something. I don't even know what it is, but, but aren't the dip tie backgrounds cute? Okay. So I got it doubled up just like the Gina, just like Gina K. And we're going to run this through. And now I have two cute tags for holiday packages that I have to get to wrapping. And it'd be really fun if I could find in my stash like some pale blue wrapping paper or, you know, it would be really pretty with this, just silver wrapping paper. I love super neutral papers. Like, I just think they're super cool. I did get this one a little bit off, but that's, that's my project for today. A little dip dye cut out for a background. And turn this, it does look like an, a medallion for the Winter Olympics. Dun, 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 Thank you. I'm going to try to do something here. Let's get my little friend and we're going to go here and we're going to go with select all. And there's me and I'm going to turn this one off. Okay. Hey, so that's, oh, and I guess I don't need me here twice because that's annoying, but that's, that's, our, that's our project for today. I mean, it's super simple. Well, not super simple because I had to do the dip dye and then I let it dry overnight. And I mean, you know, but yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. So does, do you have any questions at all for me? I'm happy to answer some here. Hey, Barb, I'm just seeing your name pop up. See, sometimes when I get really into the into the process of making, I miss, I miss comments. And uh, yeah, I think these are cute. I do need to press that down a little, press it down, press it down. There we go. Okay. There we go. Oh, Christmas ear. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Christmas earrings. Well, there you go. I'll just, you know, get my ears pierced. I had them pierced at one time, but I haven't had earrings in for like, a really long time. Oh, well, I do another video on deer delivery. Do you know I can't find that set? Um, I am missing a few sets and I'm not sure where they are. Um, part of that is just this, this whole process of moving. Um, I definitely, I definitely will keep that in mind. Um, yes, this is a set that I designed for Simon. The die set itself is, is called ornament options like that. Uh, the stamp set is also, and the, this also comes with a little thing to make the poinsettia with the little centers there that you can layer in. And I want to do something with that too. Like, I think that would be really cute for a tag. Um, I love tags for holiday season, like making little, I, I want to, well, well, there, there goes that. Um, but the stamps, they look like this and they're all circular. So you can layer in also snowflake poinsettia. Um, there's sub greetings too, so that, it, you know, you can use these as cards. But my, my idea was that you would either make a little holiday ornament or a tag, or of course, you know, you can incorporate it into a card. So yeah, I love that. Okay. So that is, that, that's that berries. Thank you. They're called berries. You know, there's only so much sometimes it can fit into the brain and, uh, well, yeah. Um, what colors did I use in the background? Oh, Ariana, I used a whole bunch of 
Gansai Tambi watercolors. Um, I busted out something that I haven't used in ages. Um, and it, yeah, yeah, I, I, I need to start painting, but this is my homage to Christina Werner. It's see, I don't think I had enough dots on there, but it's the dip dye, right? So you get that gradation. And I just think that looks super cool, right? You could do this with distress inks though, too. The, the whole thing is just paint, dry, paint, dry, right? You don't want to meld the colors together. You want to create a very separated look and that's, that's it. So, um, yes, yes. Anyway, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm just reading a few more. Are you going to do a video on more of your December items? Yes, Barbara, I'm sure that I will because I need to start planning. Um, I, I have a video coming tomorrow for you. I have a premiere tomorrow morning. Thought it would be fun to do a morning premiere and it's literally my favorite card. I've already sent it to someone special who I wanted to send a card to. So it's not even here in the, in the studio anymore. Um, so that's tomorrow morning at 1030 central time. I think the video runs about 21 minutes, but I'm going to be chatting live in the comments as I am wont to do. And it, it should be fun. Um, the card is adorable. I think I think you can see it in the thumbnail. So you'll see what I mean. It's it's like so simple, but it's like, oh, love it. Um, yes, yes, I see, I am a spray glue girl, um, but because this is a tag and because I'm gonna tie it on the package, I, I am gonna look for pale, pale blue or this, I mean, any shade of just neutral blue or silver. I think it would look really good. So I gotta, I gotta check out Target. Um, Yes. Anyway, so yeah, join me tomorrow as well. And then hopefully I'll, I'll have something coming for the weekend. Um, I always like to have a video on the weekend, maybe on Sunday after football, after my football. You know, I don't really care that much about football. Well, maybe I do. It's hard to say. But anyway, have you seen how dark it has gotten already? Because the sun, well, the sun is, uh, well, it's dipped below the horizon. So if there are no other questions, um, wait, something about a live at 9 p.m. Uh, no, Barbara, it's definitely at, at 10.30 a.m. Unless I put p.m., but I think it's 10.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. So, uh, ribbon would look good. I don't, I don't have a lot of twiner ribbon. That is also on my list. I kind of just want to go to the fabric store and see what they have. But I'll take some pretty pictures of these. And I wish I had silver wrapping paper, though, that I could put on a package. There might be some in the basement. I'm going to go on a hunt. So, oh, tomorrow's live or tomorrow's premiere, sorry, is at 1030 a.m. Central Time, 1130 Eastern, 830 Pacific. And then the other across the pond, that one I can't just rattle off uh, off the top of my head. But 1030 Central Time, I could double check it here. I'm going to double check it. Let me, let me just open up the internet. Here's what's so funny about this new space. It's like a control center. And again, oh, Barb, you asked, when am I going to do a video? I'm going to film a studio tour. I'm very, very close to being ready to do it. Um, especially because I have a plan for the closet that might involve a calyx unit. And let me just go to YouTube really quick and I'll tell you to confirm the video for tomorrow. Um, I just need to plan the video. I don't want it to be super long. Okay, the premiere tomorrow is at 10.30 a.m. Central, okay? And it's cute. If you go to my uh, YouTube channel, you can see you can see the card already. I mean, I'm giving it all away, but it's just, it's so fun. And I, I, I want to make another version of it. But all right. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate you being here today. I'm going to let you go on your way to be from the places from where you are from and enjoy either the rest of your afternoon or the full day ahead or the late evening hours. And thank you so much. I will see you back here on YouTube tomorrow morning. And until then, have a fantastic night. Bye. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.